freight train, uh, tied low water style, uh, some new materials. We're going to start with a hot orange glow bright. I've got a piece of oval, small tinsel tied in at the rear anyway, it, it, already. Wow, you know, talking has been really difficult, a challenge for me this morning. And I'm, in order to show that I can do it, I'm going to tie this like a normal human being without resorting to the wonders of my Norvice. I'm doing this on a dare just to see if I can do it. So far it's going well. This new floss is, I mean, my fingers are rough from all the computer work I do. I go like that. It doesn't fuzz up. It stays bright. It's bright when it's um, soaked also. So Chris and I were debating whether this is a hot pink or whether it's a cerise or it's a fuchsia, and I don't really. This is a, a somewhat of a modification of the original pattern, but it's it's inspired by the freight train. And these uh, coal car and the freight train are a couple of those Deschutes summer steel head flies that have a couple of different colors in the butt. And I tend to like black for the remainder of the body. Some of them, some of those flies use purple. Those are great too. So now, I'm going to take a couple of half hitches. I'm actually going to take three. And I'm going to spin on some body material. So why is it that these great big fish wind up wanting little tiny flies like this? Folks, it's because they're fish. Uh, you go to the North Umpqua, sometimes you're fishing over fish that have been there for a little while. They've seen a lot of stuff. Sometimes they're starting, they're actually keying in on natural insects that they're feeding on, and these small flies work better. Sometimes fish that have been pressured uh, will simply be more receptive to a smaller fly than they would to a big one. Doesn't mean you should leave your intruders behind or your size twos, but it does mean that you, if you remain open to some little flies like these, your ability to encounter, have a grab, pull, tug, yank, bite, whatever it happens to be, is going to go up dramatically. And these flies are a lot of fun to fish. Fish them on a dry line, dry leader, uh, or an intermediate leader. Uh, that's what Tom Larimer recommends. Um, these flies will float just, they'll, they'll fish just under the surface. And those big steelhead will come up and very often, um, it's different to the take uh, on a real splash in a big gurgly muddler. A take to that fly is usually just scares the heck out of you. These guys, they just slurp them and take off. So for hackle, previously I used um, a whiting uh, hen hackle. This is a whiting American hen, uh, American uh, hen hackle. Um, they're shorter. They're nice and webby, um, wide variety. The hackles on this particular product will be as small as the moderate-sized ones here, but they'll go larger. The smallest ones here won't go as small as, as they do on the, the regular. The whiting bird. versus the American, then. The yeah. American's a larger, larger exactly. fat. Exactly. It's, it's a larger bird. But I want to show you this. The, these are just absolutely marvelous. Tied in by the tip, marvelous uh, hackles for trout flies, for steelhead flies, for salmon flies. And Chris, you got these available in some other. These are both, I think, natural blacks. Yeah, mostly natural colors. 
Um, browns, blacks, some browns, done. Some furnaces, some duns. So I got two turns there. I'm gonna go three turns. Um, this fly would j actually fish just fine with just two turns. So I'm going to use a little bit of moose body again for the wing. And I'm going to do a little bit of hand sorting on the tips. And I'm going to keep this wing sparse and quite short. Again, moose body is, um, I think it's overlooked. Yeah, I mean, tight sparse like that, it's like bare, you yeah. know, what you see on, yeah. you see called for as well. Yeah. And uh, the twist I'm going to use here, I'm going to put just a couple of strands of orange crystal flash. And you know we have fluorescent orange and hot orange and I have no idea what this is, but it's orange. There you go. Two strands in there. I'm going to double it. Got four, four strands. And they're kind of distributed across the top of the fly, top of the wing. Moose is also nice because it you know, sometimes with kip tail, you don't lock kip tail in. It's kip tail is harder to lock in. Moose hair with your first set of your thread, the butts will flare and you're locked and loaded. It's not coming out. By the way, you could use 95 denier thread for this as well. It would be great. So there you have your freight train uh, modified style. Shoots North Umpqua, Upper Rogue, John Day, Klamath. Go get him.